Uh, hearing none, I'll recognize uh, Representative Strickland. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I'd like to extend my gratitude to you and Chairwoman Napolitano for including this important legislation in our markup that protects a local and national treasure. I stand in full support of my bill, H.R. 1144, the Puget SOS Act, that I introduced with co-chair of the Puget Sound Recovery Cau Caucus, Congressman Derek Kilmer. And that was previously introduced in my, my predecessor, Congressman Denny Heck. I thank them both for their leadership and for their partnership. Here in my district, we know that the health of the Puget Sound is tied to the vibrancy of our economy, to the health of our fish and wildlife, and to the <clears throat> cultural wealth of our great nation. As the largest estuary in the United States by volume, the Puget Sound deserves the support of our federal government. And in the same ways as mentioned earlier, the way we support Chesapeake Bay and the Great Lakes. With this legislation advancing, we can finally do just that. This bill establishes the Puget Sound Recovery National Program Office at the EPA to better coordinate state, local, and federal conservation efforts. And it also codifies the Puget Sound Federal Leadership Task Force. This significant investment in our environment, in our community, and in our future. And make no mistake, for the tribal nations and the communities in Washington State's 10th Congressional District, this is indeed an investment in equity. I want to thank the Northwest Indians Fisheries Commission, the Puget Sound Partnership, and the Nature Conservancy for their support of this legislation. And I'm so incredibly proud that this bill will soon be codified into law and that generations to come will benefit from our stewardship. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Uh, 